Normally, usually, a song is supposed to carry on its father legacy. But unfortunately, due to circumstances and uh, greed or what, whatsoever you might want to pin it on, Mubaz's father is the one trying to carry on Mubaz's legacy. Ah, the irony of life. The irony of life, guys. Irony of life. Well, now who die, I lost. Now who die, lost. Now, the entire case, we do not even know the left, to the right, to the center, to the middle, or where it even started from, or how it is going, and what happened, the DNA test, the barrier, the neck breaking, the blocks, the actresses involved, the celebrities involved, the prime boy, the nose, everything, just scatter. Ah, this life eh? This life, if you make money, get sense, get sense, get sense. If you make money, if you didn't make money, may you get sense. May they no use you play ball, oh. May they no use you play ball, oh. Get sense. They get why. They teach begin sense. No bad die. And now everything does scatter. Uh, Naramali and uh, Samlari have been released. They are going freely. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with Naramali or Samlari being released. Oh. That is the normal thing because the police are the ones who are not bringing forth any evidence. They are not no more investigation. They are waiting for autopsy report. Autopsy report don't they take going for three to four months now. Autopsy report, they are still waiting for autopsy report. Octopus report, they are still waiting for it. And then Mubad's father don't want to bury Mubad. He say, Lala, you know, we'll bury Mubad. Say, he want DNA test. And won't be on the other hand, that one don't, uh, don't bring some lawyers. And they are already negotiating. No, I believe won't be, we say, okay, since you want a DNA test, then eh, I'm going to give you DNA test, but with some clauses. If the DNA test proved that Mobad is indeed the father of the son, every Mobad property, everything will be going to my son's name. Nigeria general public wants DNA test. Wumbi is now wise. He's not arguing. No. He said she said she's going to do a DNA test, but whoever demand for DNA demanding for a DNA test should fund the DNA test. And the father is asking for DNA test through online, not legally. The father, through his lawyers, to write won't be requesting for a DNA test. Well, I deal with Mubaz's case. Prime Boy. Let's talk Prime Boy. Prime Boy, a few days ago, was rumored to be released. There was a... There was a... There was a headline that said, Good, Prime Boy has been granted bail and would be at the ongoing corona inquest for Mubaz's death. This will be clear from today is innocent from the one and Nigeria police cannot pay the debt on him. All we wanted is justice for Mubad. Then again, at the same day, the guy said the corona inquest didn't hold as Prime Boy was re-detained, of course. This will happen because this boy will spill everything. Police should free him. The people that always cry about Naramali on here won't say anything because they are only about engagement. Prime boy to me is innocent. I keep saying it. You guys are detaining that guy for nothing. If indeed Nigeria police said that the only thing Prime boy did was to fight with Prime or fight with Mobad. Two days later, Mobad's brother even testified to that. Even though Mobad's uh, brother was ignorantly accusing Prime Boy, the guy in Amumu, you know, get sense. That guy said, 
prior to after uh, Mobad fought with Prime Boy, it wasn't there that Wumbi was the one that narrated the incident to him. While he was at home, uh, Boba was fine, moving freely, like he was healthy, everything was okay. First day, nothing happened to Boba. Second day, nothing happened to Boba. Boba was still fine, but he gets just more headache and all these things. Now, daughter, now one quack loss come uh, attend to Boba. And before that quack loss attend to Boba, won't be a Boba that they quarrel for up about uh, Canada uh, visa. Then, when the nurse comes start, now go back by. And uh, that uh, Mumu, my boy, Mumu, uh, brother to Moba, say, now prime boy, they blame. Shit. Jah, I got the Mumu, the Mumu, eh, in the show. He will show for Moba, but he said. That's why they tolerate so many things. I'm telling you, if you like more than this, Mumu, show for Moba, but he. If not, all those the things will not happen. If you set people in their places, you 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 you, you play gamble with your own life. I wish him all the best over there, though. But he played gamble with himself. He was gambling with himself. Pure gambling. Not that guy really play with himself. Pure gambling. I don't buy. Prime boy was granted bail. Prime boy was later taken into custody. Why? 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 Mo Mubad father is trying to carry on with Mubad's legacy. Father trying to carry on with, with his, his son's legacy by going to the recording studio. Mubi, that one, don't be. Ah, oh, wow. Honestly, I think we should all forget about uh, justice for Mubad. Don't be Naramali and Sam Larry. They share money up and down. They will go mocks, Friday mocks, go see share money there. And those of you that they tell say, oh, why Nigeria has to collect money for Mubad? For this kind of guy. If now you will go, Naramali, they spray money, you know who collect. For this kind of guy, for Nigeria, where you know say on guy day. Nigerians are willing to even collect money from someone who is every day slaughtering his own or our own people. Yes, so yes, so let me tell you, some Nigerians are collecting money every day. Knowingly or knowingly from people who are indirectly eh, the cause of their suffering. <laughs> we are the, we already know the cause of our suffering in this country. But guess who we are still collecting money from? From the same people worshipping them. What an irony of life. You know you are suffering. You know the people who cause your suffering. Yet you are collecting money from the same people who have, who have made your life unbearable. Your Mubake is the best meal. Mubake is not supposed to end like that. But I will blame her for the way he ends. You cannot blame. Ah, no. No, say you cannot blame the dead. I wish him all the best. It's gone. But then, this last scenario is from the upcoming musicians. You might want to listen or do not want to listen or, but. I pray we shouldn't hear any about anything like Mubat's case. Like I've said before huh, on my previous video, the music industry is being taken over by a bunch of businessmen who do not have passion for music. And it is wrong. It is wrong. The music industry is being taken over by a bunch of people who do not have passion for music. And it is wrong. It is dead wrong. But God will do it for you.
Okay, guys, uh, check out these two pictures are uh, in Dubai currently. COP24 for climate change. Of course, we already talked about Tokimakiwa being among the delegates who were sent to Dubai to represent and uh, to represent our country, Nigeria, and to seek better prosperity for Nigerians. But in fact, what we have seen Tokimakiwa doing is touring around Dubai, <laughs> showing a flexing body, buying, showing like she's on a fashion show, fashion tour instead of climate tour. Well, if you check out the the, the first video, the first sorry, the first uh, photo, that is another climate. Uh, that's another delegate from another country. Who was also who is also in Dubai representing our own country, and of course you see how she well narrated her purpose of being there. Well, she said, "I am at COP24, super excited to follow closely negotiation around different climate clusters, as well engage with youth in different." Pavilions. I have as I have expectation for the for this year, COP twenty eight UAE, especially in terms of rising climate ambition and climate finance. Then check out another woman from Nigeria who's representing Nigeria youth at the climate change conference COP twenty eight. She said Dubai, Chile, COP twenty eight. If you check this girl eh, post mm, under her post, you see how Nigeria they praise her. Oh, she well, mama. She well, mother, mama queen. Maybe the baby queen. And majority of all those people who they praise her. You see, I can't if I tell you that's in this country. Eh, the people may ready make this country work. Eh, I swear on God. Eh. They don't reach twenty. They don't reach two percent. Or let me say no. They don't reach five percent of Nigerians in this country. May one make this country work. The remaining percent, eh, they are suffering in a very awkward, and bad poverty, and they are comfortable and they are brainwashed to the point that, eh, oh God, if they see their oppressor, eh, they will worship them. God, thank you, God, thank you. I'm so happy with the kind of uh, self awareness that I have. I'm so happy that eh, I grew up eh, to be very, very self aware. Ah, not to be self aware in this kind of country, eh, in this kind of world. Eh. Now, zombie, you be zombie, just they move around. Eh. To this place, uh, to this place, uh, <laughs> pure illiterate zombie. Honestly, speaking, I just speak on the bottom of my heart, though. But we are not zombie, Jesus. Uh, God will not make us zombie. God did not make us zombie. Now you make yourself zombie.